we are going to perform a bed bath. First, discuss the procedure to the patient. Assess the patient in assisting in bathing process. Check also the patient's chart if there is any limitation for physical activity. Gather all the necessary equipments in the bedside table. Close the curtains and the door for patient's privacy. Offer the patient a bed pan or a urinal. Perform hand hygiene. Raise the bed in comfortable working height and place the patient in supine or in high position. Place the bath blanket and remove the top sheet. So ask the patient to hold the bed, bed bath blanket and then I'm going to remove the top sheet. And then discard it. We're going to remove the patient's gown. If the patient has an IV line, first is removed from the affected area. And then next is get warm water, which is 43 to 46 degrees Celsius. And then we are going to low the, the side rails and then remove the patient's pillow and raise the bed. So imagine it's already removed. So this is just to maintain the height of the working area. Put uh, a towel under his head. And then one on his chest. Now we are going to form a meat like this. And then without a soap, clean first the eye of the air the eye of the patient from inner to outer okay. and then dry it the second is the forehead the cheeks the nose and then the neck then dry it now we are going to remove the bath towel and put it under his arm just expose only the arm and then we are going to again then so and then from forearm to arm and then don't forget to soak the uh, patient's arm from uh, three to five minutes for a nail care imagine we are doing it okay it's done now we are going to dry okay. and now the axilla part it 
then we are going to do it on the opposite side of the bed we are going to do it also wash and rinse the forearms and then the arms then the hands and then dry it and next is the chest of the patient so we are going to um, move down the, the back blanket until the umbilicus area. the rubbing motion clean it and then until the umbilical area then dry and then next that we are going to do is to clean the knee and the thigh of the patient We're going to put a towel under from uh, knee onto the thigh. And wash and rinse and then under the toenails then we are going to dry it okay. on the other side also again until the thigh. Wash and rinse. And then the toe. And we're done. After this, we are going to expose only the back of the patient place the patient into a prone position or a side lying position With the firm rubbing motion, wash the back of the patient, wash and rinse. And then dry. Now is the, the butt area.
wash and rinse. If the patient is able to do the perennial care, ask him or her to do it. This is the last part. So ask the patient to do the perennial care. If he is unable, then do it. Wash and rinse. discard this and we are going also to discard the soil uh, blanket under the head and then now we are going to place a new top sheet and remove the bath blanket Now we are going to dress the patient. In dressing the patient, if the patient has an IV line, first is the not affected area. So we are going to put already a new gown. And then that's it after all after this we are going to ask the patient if the patient experiences pain and then record any um, observations of the patient's stress. thank you